What's up boys and girls and welcome back to another one of my Black Desert Online Guides. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to have conversations with NPCs and how to increase your amity with them. Pretty much every NPC in Black Desert have some sort of a story or lore behind them and if you want them to reveal some of their secrets, sell you something rare or even give you some new quests then you're gonna have to gain their trust and friendship first. The NPC I'm going to be using as an example today is the stable keeper of Velia, Lorenzo Murray. The reason you'll probably want to gain amity with him is because he can sell you stuff like stirrups, saddles and other horse equipment. So the first thing you need to know about having conversations with NPCs is that you must have enough knowledge on the topics that that NPC is actually interested in. For example, when I first tried to have a conversation with Lorenzo, he had no interest in talking to me as I hadn't gained knowledge on his primary interest, which was the Merchants of Velia. You can see what different NPCs are interested in by talking to them and then reading the interest knowledge status. You can see with Lorenzo that it says Velia Merchant. So I then went around Velia and talked to every merchant I could find in order to gain enough knowledge to start a conversation with him. Once I had enough, I returned to gain some amity. So now we have to actually start a conversation which also starts a mini game in which you have to try and spark the interest of the particular NPC that you are talking to. But it does have some twists to it to keep it entertaining to us. To start a conversation with an NPC, run up to them, press R and then select the conversation button. This will then open up a new window where you can try and spark his interest. The easiest way for me to explain this is to go through this page step by step. At the top you can see requirement. If you meet and succeed them, then you won't need to spend any more energy to start another round of conversation with him. Starting this off costs 2 energy and subsequent to every time that you do not meet the requirements. So if it says talk freely, you simply just have to talk to him. If it says gain X amount of favour, then you must gain that amount of favour. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You can do this for up to 3 times before having to exit and spend another 2 energy to start another conversation. Next up is the interaction result. Once you've had a conversation with an NPC, you can see how many times you sparked their interest, how many times you failed, the amount of favour that you gained through the conversation, and the amount of maximum favour you gained for a single point of conversation. The current Amity part shows you how much Amity you currently have with that character, and it will also show you the rewards you can receive from it. From this, you can see that I can get two quests and a few items from Lorenzo depending on my Amity level. Finally, at the bottom right, you have all the NPCs that you have enough knowledge on to bring up in conversation. When you hover over each NPC, you can see the amount of favour that they reward for a successful interaction, the percentage chance of them actually succeeding, and the combo effect you can receive from that NPC. Okay, so now you know how to use the system, let's try it out. Start off simple. For now, ignore the requirements and just practice understanding how it works. Pick the knowledge of interest with the highest success chance, and then start a conversation and see how it goes. Once you feel comfortable with that, start trying to hit the requirements. Here you can see that it's asking me, fail to spark the interest of Lorenzo Murray. This is easy. To do this, I simply just have to select a low percentage person and it will let me continue on to the next round once I fail that interaction. Once you've raised your amity enough, you can either start a new quest or buy something from him. The first thing I bought was steerets for my horse, as this allowed me to cast spells whilst mounted, which is pretty damn badass. The items do cost amity to purchase, so you will have to then regain it through having more conversations with the NPC if you want something else. So, that's pretty much it guys. With this information, you should be able to spark a conversation with NPCs and get some really cool rewards. I'd like to just give a quick shout out to Black Desert Foundry, as their guide really helped me out to learn this system in the first place. As always guys, if you've liked the video, then please drop me a like or subscribe, and until next time guys, take it easy and peace out.